All right, everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single glove, not mask, glove on Amazon. Next, we're looking at the first choice masks or gloves. <laughs> we'll see if you're my first choice. Um, these are uh, exam black nitrile gloves, which is a very weird order to put that in. Terra 2, will you open that up for me? <laughs> Ah, she, she approves of the of the perforation. Good perforation. Good perforation. I don't love the box. It could be a soft touch box. That would be better, of course. Let me take a look at the back here. Um, this is <laughs> distributed by ZoomGet LLC. Use, we zoom and we get. Like, that's our thing. Um, a lot of urgency in that name. And this is their first choice uh, of gloves. Um, OK, so these are made in China. Which China, by the way, not a huge manufacturer of gloves uh, before the pandemic. So that's kind of been a recent thing, um, mostly in Malaysia. It does say medical on the, on the box here as well. And child care. I don't <laughs> understand that one. And beauty. Uh-oh, it says beauty. Mm. Uh-oh, <laughs> that's a whole other standard. <laughs> Chris is. is not happy. Oh, it's a whole other standard. That's a, that's a, a length standard, right? Let's see if these have the length. I don't think they. Okay, let me do the uh, the old the the, the non-technical the Lloyd test here. The, we'll call this the flinch test. That's right in the middle, right in the middle from what we've seen before. It's pretty good. Okay, so if it says beauty on it, now the the typically for coloring hair, right? It's going to be a much longer glove, right? Yeah. Beautician's gloves uh, would need to meet a 260 millimeter length requirement. Oh man, just, just very exciting job that you have. Yes. 260 millimeters, it's the extra, how, how long, how many millimeters is this? Oh, I don't know, probably 230. Oh, so it's an extra 30 millimeters we're talking about. There's no yes, way that's, that, that's this is, not, short. That's not this is not 260. Yeah. Come on, you're that's calling this 260? About, about 230, maybe 240. Get it precisely calibrated. Now again, um, we need this thing to stretch to, we, we like to see them above 500%. That's the medical standards in the United States. Because this glove is so old, it actually has a kind of a mulligan uh, and uh, it only has to go to 400%. But it still needs a tensile strength of 14. As we watch this graph, this is all the masks we've tested, or all the gloves we've tested today. Um, we gotta be right in there for tensile uh, and we gotta be uh, right Ideally, past year, we've only had two gloves, uh, uh, and both of those gloves were 510K cleared gloves. So typically, I would say, if you can find a 510K cleared glove, that's a good, it's probably going to be a good glove. Our glove is a 510K, and as was uh, another one uh, that we just tested. All right, so the test is going, and it's starting to get muddy in here, but you can see it right there. It's right, it's actually pretty good. It's on the lower end, and that's why I said when I did that test, I was like, this is about average. And it's right in the middle. I mean, it's cutting it right in half. So about a year old, this glove. So okay, now it's climbing. See it in there? Oh, no, no, I missed it. It's actually a pretty good curve. It's really low. This is the fourth lowest curve that we've seen so far. If it can hold out past 400, this is going to be a great glove. And it made it. Can it do 500? Wow. Nice. What a great glove. This might be the best. Oh, we almost beat our glove. Did you see that? Yes. Right before. This is pure excitement, folks. Oh, man. If this is exciting to you, you should probably get a new hobby. I'm just saying. Like, have you checked out video games? Um, okay, so let me read this. 500 538.93%. We stretched that thing 538% before it broke with a tensile strength of 41 0.995, almost 42, and I'm looking, the highest we've seen is 47. That's the second highest, Wait, right? Yeah, yes. that's the second highest. That is a good glove. Well, first choice, maybe your name was a little bit on the nose. At first, I wasn't going to choose you, but I might choose you now. This is actually a really good job. Nice job, guys at, what was the name of it? Zoom Git LLC over in Las Vegas, made in China, a little bit old, but still has staying power. I don't know what we'd pay for this club, but this seems like a pretty good club. I would recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, or don't. You know, you could come to my house and kick my cats. That's always an option if you hate me and my cats. All right. 
catch you on the next test.